Hey Jose, I spoke with Melissa earlier. My name is Scott Walker. I'm with Impact Lighten SEO and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in more business using your website and Google Business Profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback from you about the video and I hope these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your website right here. I do love that you have your click to call and your, um, oh, I don't know what I just did. Uh, and your way to you know convert a, con a customer right up top. You have three different ways, which is really awesome. Um, but looking at your website right here, uh, you do have a lot of pictures and it looks very nice. But one thing I would really recommend is to have more content on your homepage. The reason I say that is because Google loves to see content. They wanna see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage alone. And throughout that content, you wanna be found for buyer intent keywords in Google searches. And a lot of the times that would be like, you know, all of, like, see, let's see, roofing contractors near Sparks would be a good, uh, you know, buyer intent keyword. Usually it has a service and also a location. And then one thing you could always do um, for all your uh, images, you know, uh, photos, videos, that type of thing, instead of saving the alt text as this mumbo jumbo right here, it could just be like just this beginning part, roof repair, Sparks. Um, and that would count as content because it's embedded behind the picture as well. Um, so I did go ahead and put your website into a tool I use called Arifs. This will kind of give me your analytics and show me where you're setting. Um, the DR is the trust that you have in Google's eyes. Um, this is on a scale of 100, and by implementing these strategies, this will boost not just only your trust, but also your organic traffic to your website. Uh, you're currently at an 8, which is pretty good for how many backlinks and referring domains you have. And just in case you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal. I do recommend avoiding the spammy backlinks and uh, going after the authoritative ones by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. Um, and it looks like you're being indexed for 25 keywords and you're getting, this is a third party tool, so it might be off, but it looks like you're getting about one person to your website every uh, each and every month. Once again, that is a guesstimate, but with it being so low, your website's acting more like a digital business card as opposed to an online lead generating tool that would produce an ROI for you. So looking at some of the keywords that you are being indexed for, um, Carson City Roofer, you are, you know, there's 100 searches for Carson City Roofer. You're in the 17th position for that particular keyword. Um, Roofing Sparks Nevada, there's 30 searches. Once again, you're on the second page of Google. Those are both buyer intent keywords because they do have a location and also a service um, leaking roof repair. And it looks like most of the keywords that you have, if not all, are all on second, third, fourth, and fifth pages of Google. And I don't know the last time you scrolled all the way down to the second page of Google, but not a lot of people go there. So looking at, you know, just roofer Reno right here, um, you do get your Google guaranteed services up top. And then you have some local ads that are being run. And this is a great way to generate business quickly for you if that's something that you need. Um, but being up in the Google Business Profile or Google Map Pack is really where you want to be. Uh, I say that because a lot of the traffic that goes to people's websites come from right here. And it's totally fine that you're not in the top three positions right now. There are so many ways that you could get there. Um, you could start by constantly be adding reviews. You can make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. Uh, and another tip that a lot of people don't know about is if you post branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly, this shows Google that you're growing your business organically, and that'll help, that helps a lot. Uh, and then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is really beneficial for you because Google's like a big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, uh, Google will start to trust your business. And that will boost your business not only in your area, but the surrounding areas as well. So, you know, Reno, Sparks, Carson City, all those areas. And then we go down into the organic section, and this is what I was talking about by being on the first page of Google, second page of Google. And for this particular keyword, Roofers Reno, uh, it looks like Scott's Reno Roofer is, you know, one of your top competitors. And so if we go to their website here, um, you know, they do have, uh, you know, your ways to convert up top. 
it looks you know clean and professional like most websites should but once again they don't have too much content on their website either so by implementing these strategies having more content with better keywords and you know those different locational keywords especially if you uh, service different areas um, and then having those authoritative backlinks and citations you could start to outrank these guys and uh, just to kind of give you a glimpse of how much search volume this is just in reno just with these top five or six buyer intent keywords you're looking at almost 1800 searches each and every month just for um, a roofer in reno and when you start to outrank your competitors a percentage of the total volume that are searching will start to go to your website instead of your competitors and a percentage of the people going to your website will start to give you a call and depending on your closing rate will turn into a customer for you so jose i really hope this video is beneficial for you i again would appreciate to hear your feedback and thoughts Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.